And the others, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I just finished the... After the back to program, he's not program. sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think if there's a possibility, I will go help in the Goshala. Goshala? Mm. Yeah. Have you seen the Goshala here? Inside, I don't think he went there. Yeah, the last well, it's not, it's not, I mean, there's nothing you know, unusual about the inside. It's not like it's something. We just built, we built after. I know, I know. I know. Yeah, we've got a very nice Goshala. Last time I was here last, when we were, I was here last year. Yeah, last year. Uh, sometime last year. Previous time we were there, it was just, it was like, got burned down or something, it was just haystacks or something. Yeah. A long time ago. We never really found out how, it was an accident or yeah. someone, we could never really uh, Ascertain. pinpoint it, but apparently it was something electrical. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then it was like a makeshift go show, yeah, it, was it wasn't really proper. Really terrible for the cars. And yeah, it was like yeah. the haystacks and bits of wood and stuff. So they have a nice place now. You had it last year, right? Uh, yes, it opened uh, more than a year now. Yeah, I saw it last, saw it last year. When I was there. I was there. Yeah, I saw it last year. That was very nice. It went all around. Yeah. Good. That's nice. How many cows do you have? Well, we just got two new ones. So we have three cows and two oxen, so five. Okay. And now we got a mother and a calf. So we're doing very well. Yamuna and Chambi. Chambi. Chandini, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, uh, yeah. They perfectly fitted into the herd. <coughs> so altogether you've got three cows. Yeah, four, uh, yeah, sorry, three cows with a calf, so so cow. So three cows, a calf, and two bulls. Yeah. The bulls three, are... Three oxen, actually. Three oxen, what they do? Sorry? What do they now do? they're actually learning them how to uh, uh, do different services, like taking logs from the forest, eventually plow. They also pull the trailer around for different things. Who's doing that? Uh, Robert, Robert Ru from Lithuania, he's now there. And, uh, Do they want the some road. water? Do they want, want water? They want some water? I wouldn't mind. Well, there's, uh, there's only two cups there. There's plenty of water, but only two cups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you can have apple juice if you want, because there's so much I can't drink. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. okay with water. Don't be shy. Yeah. I'll, I'll give some water too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just share the cups and the drink. I don't touch them before. Are you getting milk? Yes, so the new uh, Yamuna, she's giving good milk and one of the other older cows also. Uh, we never really, uh, she never had a calf, but it hasn't yeah. been running in years. Yeah. The one that's giving milk, the other one. Because Benny, who not at the moment, but he was the builder of the cows as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was the autumn that she had off the other one. Yeah, so years. And she, during COVID, both the cows weren't giving milk, and suddenly both started giving. Yeah. Mm. During COVID, amazingly. Mm -hmm. One morning they saw milk, <laughs> they were not wondering how much. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Eh? What's her young calf's name? Can you remember? Mangala. Mangala. She's a calf. She's not a, not a bullock. Calf, huh? She yeah. is. She's a she. Yeah. She's, 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 she's kind of a cow now, isn't she? Yeah, she's a cow now. She's giving milk, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. She's never... I mean, she's just a young calf. Yeah. She's one years old. She's giving milk. She never had a calf. Mm. She's already giving milk. The plan is to have 15, eventually. That's the Gosha has built for that, but mm. we will only get cows according to the capacity of the coward. <laughs> Boys in coward. Yeah, it's a very serious business, isn't it? Yeah. It's not just a matter of sentiment, it's a matter of yeah. responsibility. Yeah. Uh, very, very important, like daily worship. Yeah. Having children, if everybody has to, very important responsibility. Yeah, other things you can drop, you shouldn't do, but you can. You can drop book distribution, you can drop Harinam, you can drop guest programs, you can drop festivals. And you shouldn't do, of course, but you can. Yeah. But you can't really drop a cow program or a deity program. Living entities are depending on you. 
of our daily worship if we drop that that's basically destroying the very purpose so it's nice nice and, and do you have m much milk a day coming I'm not sure how much it's now will it change eh, with the new calf is anyone it will well how, how old is the calf how old uh, it is in the zomer is it a million liter ten liter but it is on so one year more no? yeah six liters is the old cow she is uh, 14 years old that's pretty good yes that's pretty good to say the least that's amazing and the other cow normally sh she should can give 15 to 20 liters a day oh, that's she really is um, three liters Two and a half a liter. What so does that the mean? other you mean goes to the calf? Yamuna Yamuna uh, gives two and a half liter a day, not more. But maybe and this they, they are looking for the information. Maybe it is too long she has a calf. Oh like that. So a, cow, sorry. A, a cow can give a maximum of liters of milk when she has had two or three calves mm. Mm. so they should they they have the intention to ask the owner mm. so Yamuna is the calf no it's the mother and she's part of your herd yes and she has a calf yes so you're getting milk from it's not her actual mother no mm. so she adopted the calf yeah well, adopted means you, uh, it within your herd, or she came like that? No, they came together. I think <coughs> where they came from, that calf was adopted by uh, this mother calf. And your mother, I don't know what happened. Or they were with a lot of cows together, and they didn't have place to move. So, a hundred cows in, in one place, and they didn't never go out neither. But there happened something, so two escaped, and this was Yamuna, the mother now, and a calf. And automatically, the, the, this mother, Yamuna, has given milk to the calf. And how did you get them? Sorry? How, how did, did we get, get the calves? In the past, uh, Manu asked to the owner, because it is one hour driving of asked if uh, we if Radhadesh could have uh, a cow or could buy uh, some cows of them and they said no this is a pure ras pure breed a pure breed so we don't give uh, cows to others we don't sell them but because this happened that two escaped and um, then they called to Ratadesh, to Manu, and said from, they don't like to come in again. So uh, it is a moment, if you like, you can, you can buy them. Unique, it's very unusual. Christians are yeah. Yeah. Very unusual. I mean, they're not usually like that. I mean, it's cruel to keep them like that, but they would have either, you know, they probably have killed them normally. They don't want to come back into the herd, then what's the use of them? Right? That was nice, at least he's got a little bit of good fortune now. It's nice. I look forward to seeing them. Yeah, well, we got a few cows. We have, well, we have two bullocks. Two cows, and Mongol is now quite big, so she's also a cow. So three cows <coughs> and two young bullocks. We're now, as you may have seen now, well, Man Namachar is not here, is he? He's away for a week or so, I think. He normally looks after him. Balladay's back or not? <coughs> yeah, I haven't seen him. Okay, so Chan's basically looking after the show, I guess. Um, the, the, maybe the two coward men have been away for Rathiat for a while. The other one's gone for a break. They're normally there. The bulls are going around the farm almost all the time pulling things, being trained up, even plowing. They've started to plow a little bit now, a little bit. And the hope is they're working quite well together. They seem to really like each other. And they're about the same age almost, same size more or less. And 
Nice, he makes a very nice, let's say, atmosphere and pleasing to Krishna. So you are traveling now on Sankhya, you've got a nice vehicle? Yeah, it's not the most devoted to a regular Sangitan van with the, all the facilities in, it's like a transport. The one you use for Hainam, or like on the marathon, we also use this for I've got seats. You can't really live in there yet, so got nine, seats. Nine, nine seats. You can't really sleep, everyone can't sleep you in could, it. could, but not for a big room. <laughs> you need one or two, but it's not that. No, if you've got seats, you, know, you have to have an open back at the back. You know. And with six devotees, it's a little difficult to have such a vehicle. We do have one. We, our vehicle has got six seats and space at the back for a few devotees to sleep if they really wanted to. I thought they had some... Um, like um, boards in the back of the van before. They've taken them out. Yeah, they've taken them out. We had like a platform for putting the book, but it, the, they don't. They're not traveling anymore. They're staying in Paris, mm. and some of them have gone to other places. We sent one devotee to um, po Portugal. One devotee went. No, it kind of didn't fit. He went to Spain. Another uh, Sanctan devotee is in New York. Another one's in in uh, Gogoranica village in the course there. So we've only got three devotees in Paris full time Sanctan. At the moment, one's coming. I think Vivati, do you know he's coming back? Yeah, September? Yeah, yeah, maybe. I think September he comes back. The others are not planning to come back for the time being. Let's see, so what questions do you have? There was a question we were just on the way coming here. Really? What questions do we have? So I haven't thought about this question, but I said one thing I didn't want to <laughs> know it. So. I discuss with the other temples, specifically with Brahma Kayash, on how can we uh, support each other more? Because as you mentioned, you know, devotees are quite rare. Very rare. Brahma is in, in the West. Um, there are pockets here and there. Mm. But in general, large numbers of temples have no Brahma or one single man staying in the temple. They're not, strictly speaking, practicing Brahmachari in one sense, they may not be married, but they're not necessarily Brahmachari. How can they support each other? How can they encourage each other? How can they associate? Well, what you're doing now is, of course, one way. Although you're here, we don't really have, we have some single men here, but you don't really have Brahmachari staying here. New Mayapur has never been much of a Brahmachari base. The Sankatan in the 70s and early 80s, they used to come back every few weeks or months. But that was just, you know, the, the weekend and off they went again. Even in the old days, their Bra Bra Brahmacharya Ashram in France was not here, it was in other places. But in Bhagavan's time, it was in other cities. Just on that, Maharaj, just you mentioned, Excuse sorry me? to interrupt, my parents were in the 80s here in the Sankatan, and I asked my mother a few times about New Mayapur, and she said, well, in the few years she did Sangam, she barely was here a few weeks in all those years. <laughs> they were yeah. never here. Never here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were always on the road or staying somewhere else around the country. You know, Apple has always been like a drop-off zone for either devotees who really can't make Sangatan or, you know, just for a break or got kids, you know, mothers with kids, school bit of farming going on, never been <coughs> very intense. It's never really found its um, identity in one way. Mm. Yeah, when Indra Dhanamaj was here, it was alive. But that was only because he was here. And you know, wherever Indra Dhanamaj goes, there's life. <laughs> you can't just sit around a the place. There's got to be a festival going on all the time or some big thing. But uh, he was here a few years. And <laughs> In his own another way. So, how can the brahmacharis associate with each other more, or let's say inspire or encourage each other more? Um, well, you do have many ways you can do that now. It used to be physical; there was no other way. We do have social media methodologies these days. We had in the past uh, seminars, brahmachari retreats. Planning one next year, Marjan. For all Brahmacharis? Yeah, it was going to be this year, but 
In Radhadesh this time. But then we discussed last year with Antaranga Prabhu from yeah, Manipur. Yeah. And basically two of the devotees that have heard it from me and from him, we both had the same plan. Mm. So we discussed it together and we decided yeah. let's do it at the Manu. Somehow there we got too busy this year so it was a bit too late, but we are definitely planning it. Why not why not Radhadesh? Well I argued for it but Radhadesh is much better. Yeah, so that's what I said, accommodation and everything. Accommodation Yes, uh, the manor is very difficult yeah. there, very difficult there. Plus, to get there, everyone's got to cross over the ocean. And yeah. It's the furthest point away from here, from Belgium, from anywhere else, Germany, Switzerland, anywhere else they can come, Scandinavia. So his strong point is they did the last one over there many years ago. It was very successful. When Plus was that? I mean, I, I don't know if he's talking about the one I was the convention, I think, Brahmachari Convention. Well, we had one, gosh, that was about 15 years ago. Yeah, they did one after that, but probably, probably eight, seven, eight years yeah, ago. Yeah, I didn't go for that one. I was with Pallad Nandamaj. He, he, he summoned it. I kind of helped. I kind of half organized it. That was about 15 years ago. 80 Brahmacharis. 80, mm -hmm. from all over Europe. Yeah. Well, you know, he had like 30 from England to start with. And a few from here and there, yeah, five here, five there, one here, one there, about 70, maybe 70 brahmacharis. And, and then, of course, not just the manor in Soho, but they had brahmacharis in Scotland and a few other places that came. So I think it was about 70 altogether. It was nice. Four days or something like that, or maybe five. A few sannyasis beside Pallad and the Maj, I can't remember. I think Chandamoli Maj was there and a few others. I can't remember. The no, you should do it. The idea is next year actually in the same period that we are now in, and this is the week leading to Rathyatra because many senior devotees and Yashis are visiting and it's a nice way to end the Brahmacharya. You're going there. Sorry? You're going there? Uh, yeah, now we're going this year, but I mean to organize the Brahmacharya next convention year. for next year. Yeah, I think we did that last time. It was before Rathyatra. And they have financial support from the temple. And yeah. It's very easy to get. Well, there's uh, well, so many advantages. There's no mm -hmm. financial problems there. Mm -hmm. Accommodation sometimes is not so great in the manner. They, you know, they're limited. They're very limited. I don't know how we managed last year because last time I mean, rather. I think we'd, most of the world stayed in the ashram. They just, you know, breezed up. Used the barn. I think so. Can't remember. Yeah. But anyway, the the whatever. Used to do Radesh would be the next one. Yeah. So to try and not do it a one in a fifteen years, <laughs> but actually to start doing it, maybe not every year, but every two or three years. Two or three years. Yeah. Three years. Yeah. And keep contact. Yeah. Inspire each other. And Another way is 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 sometimes it's it's I mean with it, it again this is a managerial thing and it's maturity involved. But Sometimes swapping, sometimes they were spending some time in, yeah. you know, how much I was spending a little time in Manor or here or here maybe in Paris or something. What we did with Jeffrey to do and Sham, when they finished the bus program, they did the marathon in Belgium in December, and in January both went to the Manor to do Bhakti Shakti. Yeah. yeah. Very, yeah, very inspiring. We've had some devotees on the Bhakti Shastri from here. Um, Gornath Raj went and did that. Yeah. Um, Akanath did, but he didn't finish it. He felt really sick and had to come back. Um, Harini also, the girl, one of our top book, she's here now. She's our top book distributor. She's in London. She's staying in London because we don't really, we can't really look after her properly. I heard the uh, um, temple president, I forgot his name now. Uh, Daimla? Sorry? Here or there? Yeah, no, here. Uh, Lochan. Lochan Anapur, he mentioned this morning at the mountain she would be welcome. Yeah. She's, she's just taking care of the ashram there. So well, yeah, not really yes and no. I mean, there's only three of them in the ashram. But yeah. She's a book distributor. She goes on book distribution. She preaches in there. Your Studio 108. I'm sure you've seen Studio yeah. 108. I haven't been in, but I heard a lot mm, about You should go and see it sometime. I don't know if there's scope for it. I mean, it would be Paris would be ideal for something like that. 
that we have no resources, we have, I mean, unless some of these devotees come back, some of these devotees are the type who could preach like that. They have pleasant crew, isn't it? That's an undercrew. It's not very, um, we don't have a very strong crew at the moment. Of, you know, book distributors they love, but in terms of innovative preaching, you know, it takes a lot of uh, willpower and determination, a bit of brain also. A bit of, um, and a lot of money, a lot of money. I don't know how much, Mahananda, you were there. Can you remember how much they said they were renting that place for? Uh, which place? Uh, the Studio 108. Oh, it was 5,000. The, the, the Studio 108? The building? I think it was 5,000. Yeah, the apartment was 6,000. Mm. That was one. They got two. Of them. But I, I think it was 10. I think 10,000 a month, pounds. And then plus the apartment, 6,000. And they spent uh, maybe 50 to 100,000 renovating it. You've got to have money. You can't just. You can start with nothing, you know, renting something, you can try. Um, something smaller, that's fine. But ultimately, you know, it costs a lot of money. and takes dedication and determination. But it's proving quite successful, I would say. Would you say so? Did you go inside? You were inside, I said, but you were with me, weren't you? What did you think? Quite good, wasn't it? We have a cafe and a preaching center downstairs. In the basement. Basement's good because nobody complains. Well, we have a little preaching center in Paris. It's one room, basically, twice the size of this. But the neighbors are always complaining, <laughs> threatening that they'll call the local authorities because officially you're not allowed to make a lot of noise. You're allowed to meditate, <laughs> but you're not allowed to have roaring kirtans, or, you know, all sorts of things, you're not allowed, to, not officially, I don't think you're officially, you're not allowed to cook there, you're not allowed to stay there, and they have all kinds of laws, you know, and uh, to do. But no one can stop you chanting Hare Krishna, so what's your question? Did you have a question? No. Yeah. You thought you said you had a question. Well, or you asked a question. Yes. Okay, about the <laughs> retreat, how you could get, well you've done something already, you've You've initiated, but that's next year. In the meantime, it would be nice. It would be nice. We're so kind of like, say, I mean, right now, the two Brahmacharas, two of the three, are in Lyon. They're doing a week's program in Lyon. Uh, so they're not in Paris at the moment. They're in Lyon, another city. Um, yeah, well, it would be nice. It's, you have to s sort of like, think broader, now that you've started something. I mean, there was nothing really happening in Radhadesh for decades, mm -hmm. as far as Brahmacharas go. <coughs> How long have you been there? I, the, the first time I was in Radhadesh is, uh, is uh, four or five years ago. Four or five years ago. And you've been there one year? Mm, yes, I was there as a before. before I think the first time that I came to Radhadesh was 2018. Six, six years. Yeah. Well, not so long, but I mean, practically there hasn't been a Brahmacharya ashram in that. Uh, I mean, you know your family, your brother's been there, my mother's been there. Occasionally one comes and occasionally one goes, but there's not been a very much, yeah. not very much solid program there at all. Not really. Same here in my part. One comes and one goes type of thing. Most of the Western European temples have been like that last, since the fall of the big acharyas, you know. In London survived and they managed to build something up there after all of that. They have a stronger core of older devotees, you know, you've got like hundreds of Prabhupada disciples there who are still, basically speaking, and they're not on the line of critical, they're not on the critical line. You know, they're most, most of them are still quite favorable, even if they're not active, and they're not you know, they're not negative at least. There's still dozens of them active. So that's that they that pulled the movement through there, whereas in other places it didn't happen the same way. And Scotland they had, but they're not doing so much there now. But Wales is doing very well. <coughs> I don't know if you have a chance to visit Wales or not. If you have they a chance. Us to come. 
It'd be nice if you could, if they've invited you. Maybe next year after the marathon. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, it'd be nice. The opening next year. Of the yeah. Ram Nomi, so I already have that date, date marked in. Yeah, yeah, it could be very busy at that time. As far as, you know, getting quality time with each other. Definitely they're doing well in South Wales. David Mickelmine is mostly doing He's well. the inspiration there. He's the inspiration behind our program. Mm. Somewhat in Soho Street also the same thing. He's in many ways the inspiration behind our program there in Soho, at least in the preaching side. Um, and yeah, Shiva and Maharaj supports, of course. He's the, he, was, he's the, he was the guru of most of the devotees in, from in South Wales as well. So yeah. I mean, that's, you've got it going, you've got it moving. Just have to keep it moving. Keep in touch with Antaranga. Mm. And if you want, definitely keep in touch with uh, Vasananda and De. And Vasananda, see, is not under us. Vasananda is under Yadinanda Maharaj. He's just Pardon? Two weeks ago, he was in Brussels. Well, he's, he's he Belgium. I mean, his family live in Belgium. No, I mean Yadunanda Maharaj. Oh, Yadunanda Maharaj, okay. He just came by, did okay. a program in Brussels, and he went there. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I don't know if you know Jim Masnito. I know him very well. Yeah, so he was in Brussels, but now he's moved to Yadunanda to serve with Maharaj. Oh, Jim Masnito's moved? Yes, he left, okay. uh, left, left Belgium. Okay. Well, Yadunanda Maharaj is a very saintly person. He's not a dynamic sanctum man, but he's a very saintly person, mm. very attractive. And uh, Asnanda, of course, is his disciple. He was in Spain, as you know. But he's actually roots are Belgium. His family are in Belgium, a Belgian person. Although from Africa, from one of your Belgian colonies, I think. Rwanda, Rundi, or something. Congo, I think. No, it's Rwanda. Burundi, Rundi. Rwanda? Rwanda. Oh, I'm Rwanda. thinking of a, um, Christian. Our last Bhakta, he was from Congo. Congo, no, he's from Rwanda or, or Rwanda or whatever they call those countries. French speaking. Yeah. And uh, he's a very enthusiastic devotee, but he's, we had a kind of arrangement. He would stay here. We had no brahmacharis from the Radhadeh. So he came here. We had four or five other brahmacharis. He came here for association about a year and a half, I think. And he's supposed to stay till the end of the year to do Sankirtan here and a few other things. And then he's, then he's up to Yadananda Maharaj next year. Um, and his plan is that he's going to be staying in Spain, as you may know, and going to Alicante and mm -hmm. preach there with our opening a new center. And uh, other than that, in Spain, Rupa Ragnar, still there, one of my disciples. I don't know who else is a Brahmachari there, I don't know. Where is he now, Santander? And well, he's traveling at the moment. He's traveling with um, Ananda Vardhana Maharaj on the Harinam Mandir yeah. traveling party. But that will finish in a few weeks, and then he's supposed to go back to Santander, but I don't know what he's going to do there. It's an odd program. He's he's slowly learning that, you know, you to advance in spiritual life, you have to learn. You don't just do things the way our conditional way of seeing things goes. You have to learn. If you want to advance in Krishna consciousness, we have to adjust our perception. Mm. We tend to see everything according to our conditioning. Um, and that's natural, but if we want to progress, we have to be willing to, for that to change and start to see things differently. Start to see things in terms of you know, ultimately in terms of how Krishna, what will please Krishna, and not just how I think I can please. Is that someone outside, Mahi? Mm -hmm. Who is it? Hari from Volunteer. Okay. They came at just the right time. <laughs> <laughs> just, are they just walking around, are they? Yes, walking around. Okay, that's no problem. <laughs> no, he's, a, he's a brahmachari ashram, as I know. <laughs> <laughs> It's also nice sometimes for Brahmacharis to get, well, I'm sure you all go to India together sometime. We are, uh, we went, mm, uh, who were it now together? Who did I, you were going to come here, you came last time from the ashram, that was me. <laughs> Robert Prabhu? Yeah, but he's not from the ashram, but he came, and there was Nirai there, and Nils 
But uh, this February, after uh, the marathon, and then the Ramesh Mellows will go in February. Benfu will go for the first time. And Jess, who has been dreaming to go, and I said, take it slow, take it slow, but you're going to go <laughs> now in February. And well, yeah, I mean, it's a good part of, you know, and it's not like every year, but it's nice that the roads can go together and actually visit other. The Brahmachari ashrams in India, of course, they're a whole different culture, different world in one sense. But <coughs> are, as you know, they're quite, many of them anyway, are, are quite numerous <coughs> and quite strong. We go to um, Pune, Jalpati. Jalpati is not as focused as it used to be because they, they've got this Govardhan Eco village and they're kind of split up a lot now and they've got opened up different centers around Maharashtra and what have you. So many of the senior devotees are more traveling now, not so, but it's still nice. And many of them play Tirupati and pretty much everywhere, you know. There's lots of Ramachars. And so those three, I think, and there are some in the north too. I mean, Delhi has a lot of Ramachars. The only the thing is about those three is though, I think you could probably learn more from those three places. Salem, back to the Kash Maharaj. The culture is very strong. Right? Pardon? The, the culture. The culture, yeah. In Delhi, they're kind of like, they, but they're so busy. They're like they're not really. They're so focused on their goal book distribution, which is fine. But you don't get. It's not like you get an awful lot of time living with them and mm. living the Brahmachari life with them. Whereas in Tirupati or Cal especially Pune, and uh, in, in Mumbai. Yeah. I know the leaders who go behind Chalpati Pune. Who is behind Tirupati? Who has created Revati Raman? Revati Raman. Because mm -hmm. uh, my parents went there many years ago, and they were so amazed by the uh, the culture of the devotees there, and they mm -hmm. were so respectful. Mm -hmm. They, they mm -hmm. were like, mm -hmm. it was almost too much how yeah. how generous and. No, oh, he's and he's a cultured man. Yeah, yeah Revati Raman Prabhu. <coughs> and uh, Salem. Yeah. I mean, maybe slightly different in terms of its fitting in to the overall constitution, but the principle is very good. Sincere, serious devotees. In Europe also, have you been to Brno? I've heard about it many times, but I've never been. No. We don't have so many Brahmacharis, but we have a culture. Yeah. It's back to the cash manager. Central Brahmacharis. Central, yeah. Back to the cash manager. Um, Budapest. I don't know, I haven't been for a few years. We are going there, actually. I don't know how many Brahmacharis they have, but I'm sure they have some. They have a few. We're mm. going there next week. They don't have as many as they used to have. Most people got married, I think. That's what I was told. But there aren't many big ashrams for Brahmacharis, as far as I know in Europe. There are not many. Odd one here and there. Except for maybe UK probably has the most in terms of one Yatrayam. Italy has a Sankirtan team of Brahmachari. Italy, yeah, yeah, they do. They have a, what's it called, Sankirtan Dham. Yeah. I've not been, but we spoke to the devotees there. Maybe eight, nine? Yeah. I'm not sure. It was eight or nine. And most of them are senior, though. Yeah. They're quite senior. I've never met any of them, so I only hear India, you meet them, and they usually go to <laughs> India, Mayapur Festival. Um, there's about eight or nine of them, I believe. They have a farm. They they have a farm project, and they go on Sangatan and the farm. Do, do things. And there are Brahmacharis, I'm sure, in other parts. Of I've not really been to Italy. I'm in touch sometimes with the boys down there, but their GBC is also the same as yours, same as Italy. So they definitely have. How to build it up, communication and and association. And Sangatan. Very important activity for most Brahmacharis, mm. especially foundational to go on Harinam and book distribution. If you don't, if you can't relate to book distribution, so be it. But at least Harinam Sankirtan can do it. Lots of preaching. Lots of excitement. You like excitement? Mm -hmm. yeah. You're quiet. You like? Quiet? No, no. no? What's yeah. your name? Radisham. Radisham. Initiated name. No. Just your family gave you that name. You like going on Sangatan? Yes. You like excitement? Yes. Most young people like adventure, you know. 
You see, it gets boring when you're, and for many, most young people, when they just stay in the same place and, and just do the same thing all the time. Some people are like that, but most young people, they like a little variety, a little excitement, a little challenge, a little bit of, you know, I don't know, adventure. Prabhupada, the great transcendental adventure. And Dharmachai life always was like that, a great adventure. Didn't know what's going to happen next. It was exciting. You didn't have any possessions, hardly except what you need. No, no mobile phones. No. Imagine living without a mobile. Can you imagine that? <laughs> I tried. Has anyone got one? I think everyone has nowadays. <laughs> Pretty much everybody, isn't it? Even children have got them. Yeah. When Just I went to the manor, I'd never had an Android. I had this simple, this Cortex. After six months there, they convinced me I needed this. Oh, I got my first mobile six years ago. Yeah. I never, I refused to have one until six years, seven years when I became national secretary here. I got, I didn't have a mobile phone, but uh, I also wish we didn't all have to have mobiles. And, and, uh, life went on quite nicely before they in, they arrived. <laughs> it wasn't like nothing happened. Even before computers, you know, because you know, previous generation there was no computers. Maybe one in big one in the temple, but no one had their own. No question of that. Two generations back, you didn't even have tape recorders. Mm. We don't even know what a tape recorder is now, practically. Mm. Good. Let's have a, a little kirtan. Yeah. Thanks. All answers. All answers. All questions are answered through. Can, can I ask uh, a question? Yeah, yeah. Maharaj, uh, you spoke about, I did not go to understand, you spoke about book distribution and, and you spoke about the cows and you make a connection with this I could not follow. Book distribution and cows, did I make a connection? Um, I did, so in Italy maybe, I don't know, no, no not uh, really. But the book distribution can Ah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. That goes that way. Yeah, cow, once you start a cow protection program, you can't just drop it. You have, it's, it's, it's like having children, you can't just drop them. Or daily worship, you can't just drop it. Book distribution, you shouldn't, but you can. And many temples have. They've dropped it, they dropped it, or maybe they did and they've started again. I mean, there was no book distribution in France, hardly, only in Itaigo Sundar, for like 30 years. Apparently, there was nothing. And Belgium, maybe the same, I don't know. Probably not much different. Not much book distribution going on. But daily worship was somehow or another going on. Cow protection faded out here, because if you don't maintain it, it will fade out over a decade or two. But uh, you can't just abandon it on the spot, you know. People get old, cows get old, and they do fade away, but that's not a cow protection program. Cow protection program is not just having a herd of cows full stop. Cow protection means living with a cow. Is that rain? It's raining. Yes, ma'am. And it really, the basis of cow protection is plowing the fields. So it's not just milking the cows. You know, you've got to bear in mind this is a, an overall environmental program. You know, society program, they're part of society. You can't abandon that. I mean, book distribution in its form of book distribution is practical, the most practical way of disseminating the knowledge of Krishna consciousness. Now, you can drop that practical system, carry on with everything else. In many places, they've done that, depending entirely upon the kind donations of the Indian community in many places. You don't need book distribution anymore financially. In some devotees, you can say it's detrimental to the uh, spreading of Krishna consciousness to go out and distribute books. Mm. Some devotees say that. Same with Haryana. How so? Why? Public don't like it. Mm. It's outdated. They have all kinds of just of ideas, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Get on, do what you want, no problem. The Prabhupada said this book distribution never has always got to be the, the foundation of any movement. Distribute books in different ways, but, but especially for Brahmacharis, the, the challenge of you know facing the public, as they say, when you go on Sankatan is 
a very, very uh, heart-opening experience, to say the least. Mm. Sometimes challenging, mm. and uh, sometimes very, sometimes very exciting. Mm. You never know what's going to happen next. You never know. Or some Krishna sends something along, and even if he doesn't, you just absorb yourself in, in chanting. Everything will come. Does that make sense? And cow protection does go along well with Sankirtan. I mean, they're both in, uh, inseparable parts of Krishna consciousness, you could say. After all, what is Krishna consciousness? It means pleasing Krishna. And obviously, if you're really dedicating oneself to cow protection, which is the essential activity of Krishna in one sense, other than all this loving relationship. But cow protection, plowing the fields, is their business in Vrindavan, isn't it? Tilling the fields. And Papa wanted it so much, and he also wanted book decisions. So why? Because both of these programs were in daily worship were so much wanted by Papa. And I'm convinced in the West, you know, Papa wasn't so keen on sophisticated daily worship become very sophisticated. Mm. He was very simple in the 70s, extremely simple. He's become very complicated, imitating the Indian high, you know, Hari Bhakti, the last standards and stuff, which I don't believe was really a, a Prabhupada's idea in the West. Mm. In the, when I say West, I don't mean <laughs> places where people aren't brought up in that kind of a way. So they're not so inclined, especially in France, people have they're not very inclined towards daily worship, you know. Mm-hmm. They like meditation, they like chanting, they like philosophy, they like eating. But uh, daily worship has brought a smile, got a <laughs> smile from them. Yeah, yeah. They like eating. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is it recommended that we should do it the way the higher standards Good question. We were just in Czech Republic, and uh, the GBCs asked them to install Radha Krishna. They've, they've never had Radha Krishna in the whole Czech or Slovakia, in the temples, individual homes maybe, but not in the temples. So I said, are you sure you want to do this? I was talking to the temple person. I said, are you sure you want to do this? He said, well, the GBC wants to do it. You know what it entails? You know, you've got a nice Temple, simple temple, book distribution is going on, you've got your restaurant, and festivals and what have you. He said, yeah, but we're going to do what it was like in 1972. Mm-hmm. Daily dressing will be maximum 30 minutes a day. Mm-hmm. So it's not going to be like what we do now. It's going to be very simple. No turbans, none of this, all these, you know, very sem- same standard they have now, Radha Krishna. You know, same standard, they're very clean, they're very regulated. You know, very clean and regulated, but we're not going to increase the standard. We're going to keep the same standard, but with Radha Krishna. So mm. That's their plan. Mm. If you do like that, maybe it's, you know, an extra one pajara is enough. Mm. That's all. Two pajaras can do everything easily, everything, absolutely everything. We only had two pajaras in 72. They did everything. I mean, if someone wanted to do an arty, of course you could always do it. They day the Jagannaths, probably in the store, Jagannaths, they were, they were dressed once a week. Once a week. Mm-hmm. Radha Krishna, we'd all chant for an hour and a half in front of the deities before the curtains closed. Japa, Japa, including the pajaras. It's like, you know, times have changed, you know, and right you're wrongly, Krishna's in control, we're not comment on that, but that's what they're planning. So I would say that proper, but, but that's, if you have 100, 500 devotees and 50, you know, devotees clamoring to do deity worship, it's a little different. Mm. When you have like 10 devotees and you know, it's like old and tired, there's no sanctan going on. In my opinion is you can't drop one, you, you have to maintain both, mm. and they have to be Proportionate to each other, mm. proportionate. Mm-hmm. Not that one just goes out the, into the garbage can. Proportionate. So, but you now I'm not in a position to say what's Krishna's desire. But 
and certainly not from the institutional point of view, that's not the general understanding of things. Not to do. But make her take it and they say make hay while the sun shines. So always for brahmacharis take advantage of this opportunity. Mm. As long as you haven't got one of these pieces of string hanging around your neck, you're you're a little freer. <laughs> As soon as they see, they're like uh, Rasananda said, as soon as he arrived in Paris, they saw his Brahmin thread, and immediately they asked him if he could do deity worship the next morning. Uh, Hare Krishna. <laughs> Just arrived from India or Spain, via Spain. Yeah. You have a separate ashram there, right? Just for the Brahmacharis. What do you mean by separate? Well, like no other Brahma, no other single people stay in it. It's just your Brahma. It's getting shows. there. It's getting we there. We have two exceptions, but long term, the management knows that eventually we should find a place, but they're struggling to find a place outside the ashram, and the ashram facilities are still quite big. We could, if we would fit the world... Can't the you divide it with two minutes. separate entrances or something? Well, this has been discussed. It's still not confirmed, but it has okay. been discussed. That's what we had at the manor. Yeah. At the manor. I mean, when we had our back to program there in the 70s. I, I started... The January started, I was his assistant when he started it on the back to program in 76 at the manor. The first thing he did was to, you know, separate the, the, the ashram. So we had, beginning, nothing. So we had two... Fairly side, the two rooms at the very end of the corridor were the Brahmachari Ash, with the Bacta program. There's only the Bacta, no one else allowed in. Just Bactas. Yeah. If you can isolate it so it's just pure, then you try to keep it clean and pure. Um, another good Brahmachari, you, you know um, um, Raghunath Bhatta in Leicester? He was yeah, in Scotland yeah, as well. Yeah. He's a nice Brahmachari. Yeah. Where is he now? He did Leicester. Yeah, he was in Scotland. He went to Leicester. He married him in Leicester. Invite him over sometime. Yes. Mm. He'll be inspired and you'll be inspired. Yeah. Mm. Thank you for reminding me because I had a yeah. discussion with him some time ago. And he, he ended up on his own in Scotland. It was like, you know, things weren't going well for him up there, so he moved. A few things happened up there. He needs association. Keshwa Maharaj come sir? Yes, we are trying to get him more often, but yeah, he's asked everywhere. But he comes now at least once a year, twice a year. He's in Timbuktu right now. Yeah, we had him do the lessons for the Bhakta. Then they spent an hour with the Brahma. Back to the Samrita Maharaj, he used to come, his yeah. health is bad. Yeah, I served him for three months now at the man. He was one of the best times of my life. Oh yeah, you were there when he I learned so he's much. He's such a saintly devotee. Yeah. I have a, a culture in you know, the Ramachari life. Oh, so good. So good. But he can't travel now. He hardly can go to Bombay, what they say, for anything else. When we go to India, I did mention last time, I said that I hope he can go and maybe see him because he's staying in the. Dalgaon? Yes, Dalgaon. Adisham? Mm. I've Have never personally met him. He comes. Maybe you so can invite him. him. Maybe you can invite him. Yeah, there's so many nice Brahmacharis in India. Vishnu Padai Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Namaste, Namaste.
Right back to the cash, Swami Maharaj. Back here. Yeah. I haven't personally, and I don't think many devotees are out there. Good. They're not keen on him coming. I know some devotees. Yeah. So I would be happy. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a bit outspoken sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind if someone just waved. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Kedara Siva Padhi Gaura Vakta Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadada Shiva Sadhi Goda Bhakta Come in. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. There's another one there. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Krishna, Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. 
Hare Krishna. Good to see you again. Nice. My fortune. Your good fortune to be in Prabhupada's shelter. And you're staying for another week? Or is it? Yes, to Jesus. To Jesus, nice. And then? Sorry? Where will you go then? To Sweden. Sweden. You're staying in Sweden? No. Give some seminars in, in, in Sweden and go to Czech Padayatra. Oh, you're going to Padayatra, nice, very good. And then to Czech, later on to Czech, uh, Shravan and Kirtanam festival. So you're back, back to the Kashmir, right? Yes. Or are you going to Brno? Yes. <coughs> are you a disciple of Back to the Kashmir? No. But he invited me to. To be one of the speakers. Very nice. Yeah. And you're living in Slovenia? Yes. Ljubljana? Outside of Ljubljana. Mm -hmm. In the countryside. Oh. My old friend Parasharam, is he still there? Yes. He's one of the government officials. Now. I heard he was in politics. Yeah. Was he a minister? Sorry? Minister? No. He's in employed in some ministry service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's not a minister. Mm -hmm. Still around as a devotee or drifted off? Comes sometimes. Mm. Mm. Few times a year to the temple. Mm -hmm. Good. I don't know about his practice. Yeah. Nice. Well, well, I'm sure we'll catch up over the next few days before we head off. Do, do you have any contact with him? No, not for a long time. We, we fa I stayed with him. I stayed with him several times in Slovenia. Yes, when there was a Padayatra, I remember you. Ah. You stayed at his place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I stayed there a few times. We were working together on Kirtan standards for years. I remember. Yeah, foundational work. And uh, he was helping, he was like secretary for that project. Yeah. He came to London to see me and did a job. Yeah. These brahmacharis you've met, you spoke with each other? Yes. yes. Good, good. From Radhadesh. Radhadesh, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Nice fruits of Radhadesh. Yes. Gopinas inspiration. Takes one man, and many things can happen. And I heard they go to Sweden. They go to Switzerland tomorrow morning. To Switzerland? Before Slovenia. Before Switzerland. Switzerland. Sunday, Vasyatra, and oh. then the next day, so Monday, we will go to Sweden. Yeah. You're I going to I message think. to the temple, and he's still waiting on the reply. How is Ananta? Ananta, yes. How is he? Good, I think. He's a very nice devotee. Yes. Nice person. He's very very stable. Yeah, it has to be. He's been there, what, 20 years? Yeah. Temple present? A long yeah. time. More, I think. Maybe more. I haven't been there for probably 12 years. He was TP for three or four times I came. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. To have a nice devotee. Nice. Have you been to Slovenia? I haven't. But I've heard so much about nice. devotees from Radish. Nice. His father is also from Slovenia. Oh, your father's Slovenia, yeah. yeah. Very nice people, very nice country. Small, cities are small, very, very sweet. Croatia is a fun. You going to Croatia? Mm, we were maybe going to join Bhaktivinanda Varna Maharaj. He's doing his tour with the. They're going to be there in Croatia. But he just received a message a few hours ago that they already have a, a team, and Devi Maharaj is, is not going to adjust anything, so he said this that? time. They have a team. Yeah, he said the team's already set up for this time. So we'll yeah. keep it lined up. So. Mm -hmm. Anyway, see what, what excitement comes your way. You're going to be in Zurich. Yes. A few days. We're just uh, Saturday and Sunday and Monday in Slovenia. Then on the way to Hungary, we go to Zagreb. 
we'll probably just spend a day. We might even do a little youth program. I was speaking to the Roshi. And then we go to Hungary and Budapest. Nice. And where are you going as Switzerland if you're leaving? What's tomorrow? Well, basically, spend two days really for a retreat in the mountains, in nature. Just okay. completely disconnect, just read and chant. In, in Radhadesh, you don't always get so much. <laughs> 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 it's not happening over That's there. a ham. Many times you stay in a temple, you never get time for reading, you know. It's like <laughs> before you joined, you had so much time for reading. When you joined, you don't have any time to read. <laughs> To do. You have no energy left to read. Yeah, that's nice. You've got it all lined up. Is someone going with you from Switzerland? No. You've Even got where we're going to stay is not clear. I'll ask us to organize that. But you haven't got much time left to yeah. organize that. If we'll you're leaving tomorrow morning. It's a big country with a lot of nature. So <laughs> not very it's not a very big country. It's quite a small country, Switzerland. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I have you. I hope the weather's reasonably good. Today it wasn't, that's why we delayed by a day. Because they were announcing rain and 15 degrees, but tomorrow it should be warm and it's Okay, warm. good. Good, I'll have a great stay in Switzerland. I'm supposed to give a class at 7 o'clock. I don't know if you want to take a shower or if you, if you want to, you can come along. It's up to you. Yeah, I think, I mean, I did. I think some other devotees did. We'll go for Goranti now and then... Yeah, and then, then head off. And then 35 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever that is. Okay. Wish you all the best, and yeah, Sankatan leaders should communicate with each other. Um, Brahmacharya leaders should communicate regularly with each other. There needs to be some communication between Brahmacharya leaders and the wherever they are. There's a nice devotee. What's his name? What's his name in Hungary? What's his name? He's English, but he stays in Hungary. What's his name? Ananta, Ananda, some Ananta, Ananda. Oh. Uh, who was at the manor in St. Anastasia Manor? Yeah, uh, in the old days. Sri Ramaz, that's right. Yeah, yeah. and or something or other. Yeah. I haven't seen him for decades. But he stays in Hungary mostly. He's a very nice devotee. And uh, like that, you know, keeping in touch with each other and, you know, help each other. Thank you for coming down. If you want to use the toilet, there's a toilet in the back there. There's a dry toilet. A dry toilet. This is a straw bale house. Made of straw bale. Even the roof is underneath. This is earth, mud, and, and, and cow dung. And above that is straw bale, and above that is wooden, what is it? Waterproof, and then there's wooden tiles on top. Wooden tiles. And most of the wood, not but these are not, but most of the other wood and that was here is from the far from the farm. Um, not the straight planks, but most of the other things. They can do these now, but we didn't have the machine then. We have a a, a lot um, a plank making machine now. Um, and that all that's from the farm, the wood and uh, the earth, the straw from the neighbor's farm, I think. And uh, maybe it's from here, I'm not sure. I can't remember. Sorry? Dirt comes up. I don't know. <laughs> it's made of dirt, so <laughs> it doesn't have to go very far to come up. <laughs> it's earth. I've never noticed anything. It's funny. It, never, it doesn't feel like it's dirty, does it? Never done anything to it. I mean, we, we put a new layer on this year. But for two and a half years, we didn't. How does it do with the water? If any water spills, it just dries up. Dries up quickly. Yeah. Mm. yeah it dries <laughs> up. <laughs> don't you don't need to experiment. <laughs> I mean, it'll be there. It just drains in. It doesn't make no difference. It doesn't do anything. It cracks sometimes. You can see it's cracked here and there. You have some like a chair on it, then it you know heavy like sharp cracks. And this is a cow dung or something. We mixed in. There's earth and, um, and clay and, and cow dung and sand and whatever mixed together. Yeah. Would you suggest Brahmacharis to live in this type of place? Yeah. 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 In Ragdash, our gardener Kubo is doing a Prema Kosher project and he's actually trying, he was just speaking about the cows and they're trying, 
to really work together. The agriculture mm. and the farm. Mm. And one of his dreams is to build this kind of houses. He was here. I do. He visited your house. He yeah. was very inspired. Yeah, I remember you. Yeah, yeah no, I would, have, I would. I mean, it's not easy. It takes time. It takes money. It doesn't take money. It takes time. Manpower. To build eco houses takes a lot of manpower. You know, whether it's made of clay or whether it's made like this, you know, it's not a choice. But Goposwami's house is made of clay. That's ram, like rammed earth, you know, rammed earth building. And that's also nice. Mm. Although he didn't, wasn't able to finish it in the way he wanted, he had to put the cheap, quick roof on top. So the roofs are difficult. The roof is, you know, it takes a lot of work. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. But they did a good job here. This Rida Chaitanya was very impressed. Mm. Not easy to impress people. No. <laughs> he, this is about the only building that's been constructed on this property he was impressed with. Mm. So this is done properly. Mm. It's all straight and the proper structure. Built to last. Well, whether it will last, and who knows? It was built. No, he very much liked it when he came down here. He was very impressed. Yeah, he's not easy. He's a <laughs> very particular with, with buildings, and it's like his thing, isn't it? Like his life's hobby or something. You know. He's six months in Mayapur, but he's still always impressed because we have the construction going Kitchen on. going on, isn't it? Yeah, the new prashadam. That's what I meant, the prashadam, the prashadam. That's what I meant to say. is going to be the mm. opening. Satya Maharaj will be there. Ne this year? Finally, because for community like Raga, she cannot have an actual place to have prasad. No. Uh, only the tent, but the really tent. it's so cold. Now. Same thing in Paris. Yeah. Tent in the winter is dreadful. Mm. Or if half a dozen of you sit in that little room in the basement, or wherever it is, you know, in the room there. Yeah. Mm, it's nice. You've been to Radha Desh? Yes. You like what are you, Vanaprasta now, or what are you doing? Not yet. I have 15 years of daughter over here. Oh, you still have responsibilities to do. Yeah. Yes. A few more years. Then sannyas. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Why not? Why not? You're living like one already, practically. <coughs> Traveling and preaching. Instruction of Sadamba Karana Maharaj. He's your initiating guru? No. He's initiating guru of my son. He was his. his Nitai. Servant. Nitai was his son. <laughs> and he kind of adopted me. <laughs> <laughs> your son adopted you? or could no. <laughs> <laughs> We have some good six figures, I must say. And so he instructed me to go and preach. Mm -hmm. What better? What else is it to do, really? Yeah. Preaching isn't so difficult. Yeah. You don't have to be a philosopher. You just have to go out and chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> just get people to chant Hare Krishna and ask people to chant. That's what Rajatani did. He didn't preach much philosophy. 99% of the time, people can't really understand, and they can't digest it. It's only when they become a little serious. So I'll just get them to chant Hare Krishna. At least that much you can do. You get them to take prasadam or something. Yeah, we're not so learned scholars. Yeah. Also, Kadam Kanan Swami is now initiating a spiritual master. Kadam Kanan Swami. You were initiated by Kadam Kanan, very lucky man. And he told us uh, do something special. Don't on only uh, organize events where devotees meet each other, but also new people can mm. come in contact mm. with Kadam. Oh, he, he's a real preacher living in Canada. He's a real soldier bat in the battle. Gen general in the army, like a gun. But it's uh, it's not easy to attract new people to <laughs> events. Uh, the more you're attracted yourself, the more you can attract others. Mm -hmm. It's not just a mechanical performance. Mm -hmm. 
the more you yourself are you know, absorbed, the more you, others will become inclined to become absorbed, just that sincere. Yeah, but it's got to be a follow-up also, mm. not dependence. You can't do that. You, know, you can't do everything. There's got to be a follow-up on that. You know, attract people, but there has to be a follow-up. Mm-hmm. He can do that, but you can't do everything. You know, he's on the road all the time. He doesn't stop still for one week, one day hardly. He's going everywhere, and he's going to places that his Guru Maharaj never went, as well as his own responsibilities. You know, he, he's I'm trying to calm him down, mm. uh, trying to you know, make him to focus that it's just moving all over. Anyway, it's the sannyas honeymoon period, they call it the honeymoon <laughs> period. <laughs> when you take sannyas, you know. How long, how long does that last? <laughs> well, it can last a long time, it depends on individuals. <laughs> Some people don't get married, they, they remain engaged for like 50 years, you know. They never commit themselves to marriage. You know. yeah. But uh, he, he understands that. You know. You want a problem like this, he's someone solid as well. Because he's a great preacher, really great preacher. Wonderful preacher. Very attractive and very, just good quality, uh, good quality devotee. And very tuned in to people's where people are at, not just preaching. Many times devotees come from India, they don't they can't relate to where the local people are, you know, and they just try to preach like they preach in India and it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You gotta tune into the people themselves, you know. Can't expect as Prabhupada says you can't um, just taking Harry B- back to your last as an example, and Prabhupada writes that, he read it, I'm sure, that what may be suitable in India may not be suitable in the West. Mm. Particularly that book was written because it's Martha Brown and so on, but particularly for India, mm. not for the Western preaching so much. Where people don't have that kind of an upbringing or culture. Can't relate to it very well, it's unnatural for them practically. I mean, we're all wearing dodas, so it's not that bad, <coughs> especially nowadays, people wear anything. But it's um, in the Western world, you know, many of the, what we term, whatever you want to call it, the Vedic culture or so on, is quite difficult for people to adopt in the West. Quite difficult. Do your best. I like Sri Dharmaja's statement, you, you be yourself, whatever you've been given, you do your best with what you are, and you make that as an offering to Krishna. Offer yourself to Krishna. Whatever you are, you don't have to imitate. You have to find out what you are and offer that to Krishna. And he was called the Jolly Swami. You may know that. Sridhar Swami. The Jolly Swami. Iskon. Very happy, jolly person. And that's, you know, Prabhupada said again and again, chant and be happy. You know, it's like, you're not meant to just chant. You're just chant and you're not happy, it's not very attractive. No. This is the was a morose and miserable. <laughs> I was in Maya or in their mental platform. It's not very attractive to others, you know. It's, uh, people are looking for something real. They're not just looking for a philosophy. They're looking for, you know, something which works. Looking for a lifestyle, but looking for a lifestyle which actually has, you know, let's say, what we're really looking for as well not just a good theory or philosophical conviction. It's okay, but that's not enough. There's got to be some living example. Is it? It attracts people, doesn't it? When somebody's enthusiastic, it kind of attracts people. When somebody's happy, it's kind of... You may be envious, that's another problem, but I mean, if you want to become Krishna conscious, that's an attractive feature. People are not saying one thing and doing another or behaving another. Okay, well, curtains, yeah. it's already, art has begun. You missed the big first 10 minutes of RT. You better catch the bit of it at least, if you want. Or take a quick shower in the ice cold water. Is there any warm water? I don't know. In the shower? Sometimes there is. Sometimes there is.
They were trying to, they were up there with these enormous crane today and trying to adjust the whole system. But I don't know what the heck they're doing. System's great. We, this is, uh, and, and, and it's supposed to be great, but it, we still haven't gotten it working properly. We're still very unsure what's going to, what's happening now. The same system, I think they have in Radhadesh. It's not the same structure, but it's the same system. System's the same. Same principle. Yeah, it was Vidai Chaitanya Prabhu's initiative. <laughs> we anyone to blame is this. <laughs> he was at the Rathayate, did you see him? Yes, of course. Yeah. He told me, he saw me in the end of it. I was still in Amsterdam because we were doing that one class. Oh, that's nice. Where you end up with being killed. Mm. Yeah. I won't be able to make it. I can't go everywhere. I just had two Rathayates in check. We're off to London after that. We just had the Paris one, and we got the Olympics here. It's like summer of events. What's the plan? Them. Devotees making Olympics? Putin we don't them. know. It's going to be have to take it as it comes. You know, it's like very unsure what's going to happen. Mm. It may be worse than a normal summer. You really don't know. I just read today that there, the number of tourists booked into Paris is much less this year than normal. Mm. Well, a lot of people will think They're Olympics. not coming because of the Olympics. Mm. They're simply not coming. Mm. The usual millions of tourists who come, many of them are not coming this year because of the Olympics. So you're going to get extra for the Olympics, but then, you know, they made a rule that no one can do anything without a ticket, a special pass, to go anywhere near any of the events in the Olympics. You can't enter in that area. There'll be many things. They don't want bums hanging around. They don't want hawkers. They don't want anyone hanging around. And they create any kind of you know, disharmony, discordance. So we don't know what it's going to be. I mean, I don't, I'm not overly optimistic, put it like that. We ex hope for the best and expect the worst. The prices of accommodation have gone up five times, but that's tailing off now because no one's taking the accommodation. <laughs> <laughs> because the other tourists are not coming, partly because the accommodation prices are so high, partly because of the Olympics. So they're killing their own, uh, cutting their own hands off in one sense, you know, thinking they can make a lot of money. Maybe some people did early book and paid a lot of money, but uh, long term on board scale, I don't know. Not many, not, not as many people as usual, who knows? We don't know. Only know when it starts. And they won't tell you anything. They're not going to say, oh yes, you can come, and they're not going to say you can or can't. You know. They'll tell you when it starts arresting you or chasing you away. Or they might not allow anything anywhere in Paris. We just don't know. It's on, five, it's on high red alert in Paris for the last six months for terror, terrorism. Red alert. And now with the election few, you know, that's another agitation going on. I didn't I even forgot about it. But Same day as the Rathiatu was a national happened. election. What happened? Well, that's leg one. There's three legs. That's the first leg. The first leg, the right wing won. So they did win. Heavily. Heavily. But not majority, not overall majority, but they were like far ahead of the next candidate, next party. But then the other party is now all going to try to get together to defeat him in the, in the, in the next one. Let's see. That means enemies will get together. When you have a common enemy, you know, even though you hate each other, sometimes you, you team up just to get the other one, you know. When you've got rid of the other one, then you fight with each other, you know, and kill each other as well, you know, material world. So I don't know. Nobody knows at this point. But that would be another, let's say, c cause of great... Uh, strife within the country, a lot of probably a lot of you know street riots and things would take place. They already take they already taken place a few weeks ago. They had riots, anti right wing. Mm. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare you have to take that off the recording if you've recorded that. Otherwise, we'll be in jail. Uh, I was <laughs> on putting it online. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> Please don't. Hare Krishna. 
महाराज 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 महाराज